The smile on Emma Lukacs's face. The passion of Lark Johnson's performance, and now these two young women with cerebral palsy are overjoyed to perform in a holiday classic. I can't believe it. I thought it could be a dream come true for me. It's an honor. Emma and Lark are friends and fellow dancers, and now they will share the worker girl role in the Joffrey Ballet's reimagined classic of The Nutcracker. We're so proud of her. She's put a lot of work and dedication into this role. I joke with her that I've never sat in front of 3,000 people doing anything, so the fact that she does it uh, on a nightly basis with so much poise and, uh, and a big smile on her face is really amazing. The girls are part of the Joffrey's adaptive dance program, and this year will be the first time the Joffrey's new production of The Nutcracker will include artists of all abilities. We want people in the audience to feel represented, and this is just another way to represent everybody. Dance has been part of the girls' lives since childhood, and now both teens are blossoming into so much more. And while it may be a performance for them, it could also serve as a lesson for all of us. It's an outlet to say, hey, you know, I have a physical disability. I'm more than just a person in Russia. I feel like it kind of cool. Just because we have a disability doesn't mean we can't be a normal kid. Normal kids, but also dancers and performers at heart. With so much passion, too. Yes. Yeah, the Joffrey's Nutcracker returns to the Auditorium Theater. Opening night is coming up soon. It's on Saturday, and it runs all the way through December 29th. A lot of practice they've been putting in. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.